What's up guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I wanna talk about this article I wrote called Productivity Tracking with the Notion API in Python. But basically what I did is I set up a very simple Python API to interact with the Notion API so that I could have an app basically show me some productivity information about myself that I record on my Notion database. So I have a table in Notion that looks like this where I was recording information like in, in a given day, if I was working, uh, practicing Mandarin, drawing, doing research on artificial gender intelligence with the field that I'm interested in, etc. And basically the little API has three simple functions. One to query the database, one to get the project's titles, and one to get the project's data. And what these functions do in essence is that when I run them, they will fetch all this information and then this function called projects scatter plot will create a scatter plot using plotly that i can then write to my streamlit app so when i run this on the terminal the output that, that i get is something that looks like this which basically is showing me a bar chart of the types of activities that i do during the day and you know how much uh, how much I did of that activity throughout a given period. Besides that, I can also get the scatter plot of my activities throughout a given period. Like for here, I was showing between March and uh, May, I was getting uh, I was very consistent with my meditation, uh, not so much with Italian, uh, very consistent with reading, etc. It's a very simple source code, but at the same time, it does something very cool and very interesting which is, you know, basically I have this project tracker app that, you know, you can run on your terminal. Uh, if you want to know, the cool thing is that, you know, when you, when I set this all up, uh, I get a streamlit app that looks like this, showing me my information of how, how much of each activity I did during a given period. And I can also have the scatter plot, which shows me uh, which activities I was doing on a given day throughout, you know, in this case, from 28th of March to, you know, uh, end of May. And if you want to get the source code, I'll put a link in the description for my GitHub, where you can download this and use it for yourself. It's pretty simple. You just have to go through the setup of the Notion API. And, and I'll leave a link for the article where I explain everything that you have to do to set that up. And that's pretty much it. Cheers.